So in the last video we added a project and now a project is nothing without the content of the project being the tasks that make up the project so let's add a few tasks and so the way we do that is we come over here to new task up here in the top right where we can add either a new task a new event or a new file to our project we're gonna we're interested in adding tasks so we're gonna hit new task it takes us to the add tasks screen so first we're going to create a task and by giving it a task name um, do an install of dot project on localhost and that'd be my and let's give it a little description here and we'll say um, install project on our local host server and now we want to give it an owner which we only have one user at this point it'll be public access and it is a administrative function um, there is no task parent and the dates. We did this today, um, assuming we would have planned this out ahead of time, but and we'll just call it 28. And yeah, it took about an hour or less. And uh, dependencies. Now you'll notice that we don't have to hit save between the tabs. Uh, these are all the same page. You're, you never really leave the page. Uh, there are no dependencies. This will be uh, coming up, I guess, a little bit later when we add another task. And human resources. There's only one. And that would be me. And we can set additional emails, comments. And then we'll hit save. Now, let's add another task. Call it record system admin videos and nothing more there either. It is an a operative. It's actually doing the project itself. Uh, dates. finish that up today as well and that took uh, at least a couple hours and before we can do this task we'll need to make a the install and dependency and we'll hit save all right and we'll put it on pause add a few more tasks just to save time one moment okay so now we have a couple more tasks that we can look at and we can see how the duration is calculated and the end date Based upon that, um, it can tell you the scheduled amount of hours based upon that. Um, now, at this point, we don't have any worked hours, so but we have done some work. So let's take a quick moment and record some of this. So, in order to add a log, we can do one of two things: we can go here to the task log tab, or click the log link here, and this takes us to the new log this task. At the top we'll see information about the task at hand and down here we can add 
we can add our log for what we've accomplished. Now, what's great about Dot Project is that you can start the log before you start working. Hit the start button, and it is a timer that will just click on click on until you hit stop. So I'm going to set it to one hour, and just to show you. As I continue to explain this, maybe it'll take a minute, and it'll. So it does. Uh, so it does track by hours. So you have to use decimals for the minutes. And here we can put the progress at which we've done. So we've done 100% on this, and I'm gonna let the timer go while we're recording here. And we haven't talked about cost codes yet. I will come back uh, to this and we have the task end date and reference maybe as how this request was made this uh, would likely be non de not defined in this particular instance and we give it a description now a description is a required field uh, on a task log as that is the log itself so um, can say we installed the dot project app on the local server for the demonstration. Type today. Period. Um, and as you can see, back over here, the hours work. It's now at 1.02, so it is uh, clicking as we as we talk. And here we have the email log too. As I was uh, demonstrating before, there is a setting in your user defaults where you can set um, whether these are checked by default or unchecked by default. The initial install has them all unchecked by default, so you have to check them to, to send the email to them. And I'm going to uncheck since I did have not set up anything else. You can add extra recipients to this log, and then when you're done, you hit update task. Oh, one more thing before I jump out of here, though. There is a, uh, a problem checkbox or uncheck. Now, this is a really cool feature. Let's say the server had an issue um, that it needed a memory upgrade. We found out during the task that the server needed an upgrade. I want to check that box and put in here issue server needed upgrade and I'll, this is hypothetical but I'll move it to we're 90% complete and I'll update the task. Now this made our task go red. Um, if you look at the task list it will have a little icon here for anything that has a the checkbox problem checked. So you can quickly come in here and go, okay, let's see what we have the issues on. Do we have that resolved? Yes, we fixed that. So let's uh, go edit this log and uncheck the problem since we resolved it. Add another note to this log and say uh, upgraded memory. Whatever. Um, obviously, I would suggest being more specific than that. But and at any time, you can adjust this hours work to whatever you want. Obviously, the count, the clock is uh, specific to uh, uh, recording your time. So let's uh, hit update task, and now you can see it's no longer in red. If we go to the task list, uh, the problem flat flag has been removed. So now let's take a look at a few things. There currently we don't have any inactive tasks, but you can certainly uh, to remove a task out of your project, let's say you have a 200 line 
project and you kind of want to shrink this as you go, uh, you can turn the task inactive as, as you move along uh, to get it out of your view. The forums, you can set a kind of a conversation amongst the project workers where you can discuss the uh, project and what's going on with it. And uh, it works just like any bulletin board, uh, nothing really fancy there. And we have a Gantt chart that's set by a date range. And we can uh, choose to show captions, uh, show work instead of duration. A uh, number of things that we can do, sort by the task name. And uh, it plots it into a JPEG file, as you see here. Um, this is not a dynamic, uh, like in, I think it's PHP project where you can slide drag. Uh, but PHP project, PHP project is nowhere near as uh, versatile as dot project. So um, anyway, again we have our task logs. Uh, we we can see all the task logs and the time spent and events. If we set a calendar of events, we'll, we'll cover in a bit later. And files. Um, before we talked about tabbed and flat. We're looking at the tab currently. If I hit the flat, it puts everything on a single page. Uh, this is good. Uh, one of those uh, hit print. If you want to get a sum uh, overall summary, project report, if you will. And and we have one more nice little feature for task. Uh, it's called pinning. Um, this is really more of a um, for a user feature to kind of a reminder to come back to it. It's a little different than maybe problems um, where it would give you the problem flag over here. Uh, this is more of a when I get back to it I'm gonna go have lunch. When I get back I want to come back and look at this particular task. I can hit the pin. There's a little green little pin there and then I can leave and come back. It's you, well, I mean that's just one example. You can do any sort, any number of things. Um, the color code down here, as you can see, uh, if something is yellow, it should have started. And uh, like something that would be due today um, would have uh, showed up in yellow. If it's past due, it will become red. And if it's done. 100% it's green so let's take a look at the 100% let's add another log and say 100% is now where we are with this project uh, with this task and we worked zero hours on it I want to show you this as a kind of a thing to put do on projects it's something I'd, I'll often add a log only to add a note to the task so now we'll add a note just for our own reference for later on in the history of projects to be that we corrected server issue by installing four gig of memory. I don't know, something like that. So we can just use this as a reference for later. Um, if you're doing this for a customer or something like that, sometimes you can use this for notes to your customer. A lot of times I'll use reports out of dot .project as my invoice itself, or at least attached to an invoice. And you can just give that information, um, out like uh, project information that was relevant to a particular task. So. It's a great, uh, great little feature. We've now triggered to 100%. Uh, this is going to be just informative um, information, so we'll set it to zero and update the task. So now we have our task logs. Now, if we go to view this project, you can see that we're at 100% and it's green. And that is tasks.